Hi guys, welcome back. This is Rakhi Jha. So today I'm going to do um, a tabletop uh, for you guys with acrylic uh, pour. Um, this is my table, which what I've done is, this is a solid wood um, tray and um, I got a carpenter to put legs to these um, so that it provides a good backing for um, the acrylic pour. So what I've done here right now is I've put gesso on this. Um, I don't think you need to absolutely um, in terms of um, uh, when, it, when it's a solid wood table, but uh, just to give it an additional layer for uh, the acrylic to stick better, I've gessoed it. Uh, so give it some tooth, I think. That's the term that they say. And then I have... Um, taken chalk paint white and I've colored the inside as well as the frame here because that's the look I'm going for. My acrylic pour is going to be with a white base. I've taped off the edges after that once it's dry, once it dried uh, with the gesso and the chalk paint. I've taped off the edges so that when I uh, use the blow dryer to blow out the design, um, my edges are secured. So now these are the paints. Um, I'm using uh, Liquitex uh, uh, paints and as well as Liquitex pouring medium. Uh, these colors uh, are pre-determined uh, uh, by a client of mine who wants uh, this table uh, to uh, sort of fit into uh, uh, her interiors. So she wants uh, more teal and orange colors in the table. So these are um, the colors that I've pre-mixed uh, with Liquitex pouring medium, as I said, and they're all mixed with in the ratio of uh, one is to one, which is one part uh, paint and one, one part pouring medium and thinned down with some water. So this is Liquitex, uh, the basic uh, titanium white. Um, this one over here, is uh, cadmium orange. Now, this is a very bright orange and I think she has a little bit more rust, rust-like orange, but I wanted to use a bright colors. Um, and I want, a, a, what I'm going to do is try around that orange, I'm gonna use a little bit of uh, this bronze, which will give it a bit of contrast as well as I think it might um, dull the orange a little bit and uh, um, maybe, you know, give it a, a, a little bit uh, more of a pop, I think. Um, this is going to be my basic uh, colors, which is uh, bright aqua green. And then to this bright aqua green, this one is the similar bright aqua green, but I have mixed because this is a bit more green based. I have mixed um, a little bit of ultramarine blue to it to get this teal color. And then because these colors are just what I mix together to get this, I'm going to use these colors as well to give it a bit more contrast and interest. Um, and that's it. I think these are, uh, this is my setup. So what I'm going to do is um, get this table on the floor and then I'm going to uh, start the base white and then pour the colors with you and then blow it out with a hairdryer. What I do is I do an acrylic pour first and then after that pour completely dries, then I resin the top and then I paint the rest of the uh, table uh, to whatever color and design uh, that highlights or uh, accentuates uh, the design. So let's get started, okay.
アップルのニュースかも Okay, guys, taking you in for a close-up. I am thrilled with this. I love it. I think it's subtle, but there's still vibrancy. I love the colors, the way they go well together. And I love these little wisps. A little bit of cells there. <laughs> oh, I love the little orange accent with the two different type of teal and a little bit of that very sort of bright blue. A lot of white action here. And I actually uh, painted the edges white because I saw this to be a little bit of a uh, white based uh, table. I can't wait for to resin this, for this to dry as soon as possible. I wanna see how it dries in the morning. I'll make it part of this video and wish me luck and i just love it it's a little different from my very busy looking pieces because of the white and i like that okay guys thanks for watching see you in the next video bye